Oh. Hi from Stockholm, Sweden. Fight Club Rush present three three minute rounds in an amateur contest, fought at a contracted weight of 73 kilograms. Introducing first in the blue corner, with a record of one win and no defeats, weighing in at 72.7 kilograms. From Sweden, Jafar Yosefi. And his opponent in the red corner entering the cage for the third time. Weighing in at 72.1 kilograms from Sweden, Martin Corny. <laughs> Your referee in charge, Dan Eklund. Dan Eklund in charge of the action. A 73 kilogram catch weight bout. And once again, if you were to look on paper, striker versus grappler, as Yusufi has a storied background in Muay Thai, anybody who saw his amateur debut could probably pick that up quite easily as well. He just dismantled Edward Holmes over the course of two rounds. And also, if you just look at him fight for three seconds, you can see... Yeah, he's uh, got that Thai <laughs> stance. Where the style stems from Southpaw versus Orthodox. And uh, both fighters need to worry about that uh, kick landing on the inside. Especially Martin, since his, his opponent is uh, a kicker. Yeah. And that's also the thing with the Southpaw versus Orthodox. The one side opens up quite a bit. It could be very dangerous. There's a takedown attempt. Yeah. Here you can see... What I talked about earlier, committing to the takedown. That's what I talked about. Yeah. He entered on the single leg, but didn't let it go because it felt a little off. Just he committed and he felt, followed it through. And now he's advancing. And Martin is heavy here on top, really working with his forehead, really using his head as like an extension of his spine, which is very important when you grapple. And Martin Corny's teammates, Dustin Cardis, them has had so much praise for this young athlete here he said that when he entered the gym you could tell early on that corny was talented and very very hard working you can see martin is trying to establish the back easy easy enough for martin both hooks in all right corny. trying to lock it up yeah now he might want to try and reposition himself a little bit differently. The cage could actually come in the way a little bit here as he might not be able to uh, stretch out in the same way that he would otherwise. Martin, who trains at Pancrase with uh, Umar Buish, but also cross-trains a lot at uh, Martial Arts Combat Club, MAC, um, where we, we have been rolling a lot for uh, the past couple of months. And uh, he's one of those fighters who he doesn't mind giving up a bad position in training. Mm. Uh, he can just start the, the round and just give you his back, and then he likes to work from there. So seeing him in, like, in, in a dominant position is, is great, but he, he doesn't mind giving up positions as well. Right. Well, I mean, that is how you improve. I mean, put yourself in those bad situations. This looks mm. like might get tight here. Yeah. I not sure if it's under the chin, love though. to see him go palm to palm here. Doesn't need to be under the chin. If you go palm to palm, just yeah, crank. True. Less okay. than a minute left here of the first round. Yusefi throwing off some punches. I wouldn't recommend that. Just focus on defending the choke. If Corny now could just thrust his hips forward and really extend Yusefi yeah. with the choke, then... And that's where the cage kind of comes into play yeah. as a as a blocking tool almost. Beautiful control here from Corny. Okay, there we have it. First round is in the books. Some nice kicks to start things off for uh, Jafar Yosifi, but I mean after that it was all Martin Corny getting that big slam takedown. And I mean, obviously, uh, if you're in Yusufi's corner, you got, you know, keep it on the feet is what mm. you want. But the question is how, because that was a fantastic entry from Corny who did not accept a no. Yep. And if you, if you, we, we were to see that sequence again, you can see how Yusufi, he is, instead of, like, he, 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 first he tries to go for a guillotine, then he pushes off the head, then he goes for a guillotine again, and then he pushes off the head. He's not 
if he would have just stuck to one thing and like, okay, I'm not going to try and uh, get a guillotine. I'm just going to push off the head and sprawl. He would manage to defend those takedowns better. Now he was kind of like, oh, should I try to submit, submit it from my back? Should I not? Right. And that led to him being taken down and ended up on the side control. Yeah, it's all about commitment. Luke Warham didn't get anyone particularly far, so let's see if both fighters will commit here. Those kicks from UCP are so fast. Yep. Oh, nice left hand there. Mm, looking left hand. There is an overtake yeah, down another attempt. Take down. You can see it. Martin isn't really liking it on the feet, and uh, that, that, that takedown, I mean, he managed to get it. Um, at, but he was shooting from way, way far, something that um, Yusefi, with more experience, can learn to deal with and uh, maybe find some uppercuts, mm. some knees up the middle, maybe. Mount is open for Borny uh, when he wants it. You see, it right yeah. now he's locking his own foot down, very um, Omar Bouish esque, where you're, you're fine with these half positions and you can posture up and land strikes. You see Corny got his right leg locked behind his own knee there. And when he wants, he can try to like posture up like a tripod, stay stay heavy on the head. Because if you control the head, you control uh, the fighter. Where the head goes, the body goes. So you can establish a nice cross space on Yusefi's head, and he can posture up like a tripod. And uh, keep advancing here because that's important I mean of course he's an amateur he wants to win he wants to stay safe in there but it's also you're approaching the pros and you want to advance position you want to land damage you want to be a fighter that people want to watch oh yeah absolutely I mean going pro is one thing but if nobody wants to book you for their events then <laughs> yeah you're basically just standing there without a paycheck so yeah. But I mean, Corny is a finisher. We saw that in his last bout at, uh, at FCR 12, where he submitted Anton Helstrom in the very first round of the rear naked choke. So. One minute left. I would like to see Martin try a pass here. It's only 50 seconds left. Oh, he's, instead, he's using the fact that Yusefi wants to get up. Yeah. And he's just one step ahead here, and I think we're going to see him get him down again. There you had it, yeah. Might as well call you Nostradamus, CM, because you called that perfectly. Of course, Martin Corny very much in love with the MMA game, but also very much so with his fiance. They got engaged recently, we're in Paris in 2019, and have a Rottweiler together. Martinez with the, <laughs> with the inside scoop there. <laughs> nice. Nobody digs around on social media like I do. <laughs> oh, it was about to pass the full mount there, but it looked like it was... Uh, he recognized the danger there, but I mean, no question as to who's winning these rounds. I mean, Martin Corny up 2-0 here so far. Yep. And what would you say Yusufi needs to do now? Because he's been taking them pretty quickly both times. Yes, and I'd say like the actual shots, the work on the ground for Martin has been great. But the shots in the open have not been. They mm. have not been that great. You can see here, as he shoots, he's shooting from, he takes a left hand and he starts the shot from way out. Okay, we didn't get to see it this time, but when you watch this fight again, you can you can mm. analyze it and Yusufi will, uh, he, and he should. because. The uppercuts are there. Yeah. The the kicks are there. Um, Martin is dipping his head and, and coming in from way out, and shots are there. And if Martin gets in on a shot in this third round, you need to just push off the head and sprawl. Push off the head and sprawl. Martin took this fight on six days' notice, and getting sprawled on is not comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's see if... Jafar, you'll see if his corner is has as much insight as you do. I'm sure to give him some good advice. They know him quite well after all. But I'll say it can be just, you know, very taxing. Uh, being on your back for almost two whole rounds, it can sort of 
it can really do something to your confidence and, and your output by extension. Yeah. And uh, exactly. And and now you can see he's he's throwing his kicks. No combinations though. Just hard ones from the open side. Sweating this with that kick from Corny. Yep. Yeah. Sprawl. That was a good sprawl. Yeah. One would work. think that you were in Yusufi's corner after that second round. Maybe they're listening to the show. Oh, oh. That was a haymaker of a left hand thrown there. But again, a nice sprawl from yeah. Yusufi. Now he's now he's forgotten. Now he's let go of these guillotine attempts and the submission attempts. Now he's just, hey, I want to stand up, so I'm going to sprawl. Sprawl and brawl. Also, let's be honest. When it comes to amateur MMA, how many of those defensive guillotines actually end Not up? Off. Yeah. No, the gloves are so... The gloves are too big, and it's the guillotine is something that you learn to defend. Very nice oh, sit out there from Corny. That was really great. chasing the takedown. Corny's corner calling for straight shots. I'm inclined to agree. Don't open up too much. That opens up for the counter. You can see Martin really resetting there, getting hit a little bit, resetting. Very nice round here from Yusefi. Oh, absolutely. And it would be very easy to fight, I mean, like I alluded to, with a lower output. You know, a, a bit more disheartened, but he's actually cranked it up. But oh, look at that. How about that timing from a young prospect, Martin Corny? Corny gets it, full guard. And uh, you can see Yusefi opening up his guard, trying to uh, go for a Kimura here. I highly doubt he's gonna get that against Corny. One minute left. I mean, it's obviously easier said than done, but I think you see his best bet is trying to actually get his opponent off and then is getting back to the feet. Corny is just so strong in the top position. Body, body, head being called for by Omar Buish here in Martin Corny's corner. Yeah, nice work here. Very solid. About 15 seconds left. Corny's staying in top control. We'd love to see him posture up to his feet and land some hard strikes, but... Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, armor oh. attempt! Oh, yeah. Wow, he seemed to be close. a little bit high up on that one. Wow. Yeah. There you have it. Good fight. And I think also a, a good learning experience for both fighters. Yep. I mean, I, you would not have guessed if this was Yusufi's second amateur fight, mm. uh, the way that he came back there in the third round. You're right. Stayed very calm, you know, despite being down two rounds. Great show of respect as well. I mean, that's something that is paramount in, at Pancrase Gym and I'm sure at Endeavor MMA as well. And one, of course, wonders how many more amateur bouts before Corny ditches the shin guards and larger gloves. Yeah, he told me that it, it was up to Sensei. That's what he said. So it's up to uh, Sensei Umar Buish to tell him when he's ready. Mm. are being collected here cage side so we go to the judges scorecards twice in a row Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who scored about 29-28, 30-27, and 29-28.
All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Martin Corny. Just like all those Pancras fighters, always showing respect to your opponents, but what some of the people here might not know, you took this fight on six days notice. How do you feel after three hard rounds? Oh shit, that was hard, man. Uh, but six days is six days, so fuck it. And you looked great in there, especially the first two rounds, getting that takedown, keeping him on the ground. He came into the third round with a bit of urgency. He was landing a couple of shots. What was going through your mind in that third round when he seemed to come back to life? Yeah, I knew he was going to come out aggressive because I won the two first rounds, so it is what it is. But I managed to take him down, so I'm happy. Yeah, and happy you should be because that was a shutout performance, 29-28 and 30-27. I think everybody wants to know now, when are you going to ditch the shin guards and big gloves and move on to the pro leagues? Because you look ready right now. Oh man, I have a lot of stuff to work on, but it's up to Umar. He, he decides. He's the big boss. Sensei, what do you say? All right, two more pro fights. Well, do you have anyone in mind for two of those amateur fights? No, man. Uh, maybe the next FCR would be fine. Thank you, FCR, for the great event. And thank you, everyone out here to, who showed up. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here for your winner, Martin Corny.